Morning, my friends. It is Wednesday morning, Wednesday the 10th of April. It is five past five in the morning. I've been awake pretty much all night. Today, we are leaving for Ireland. In fact, we're leaving, I think the flight, what time does the flight take off, Mrs. Leo? Five to eight. Five to eight. So we're gonna make our way to the airport. Um, yeah, join us on this island vlog. Let's see what Dublin has to offer. So we are hightailing it down the motorway to Stansted. We've got checking a six, I think. Yeah, we're going to get there till 12 minutes past. We're not going to get there till 12 minutes past, so we're putting our foot down, so to speak. Beach. But of course, we're staying within the speed limits because we're responsible like that. <laughs> this is Leo, have arrived at the airport, just dropped the car off to meet and greet. Now walking in, going to check in, and then, I don't know, get a coffee, I guess. Me and Mrs. Leo are at the gate, a couple of hot chocolates, green tea, plane is over there. We had some breakfast, didn't we? What do we have, some, yeah, like some yogurt, muesli thing, or something like, like a protein bar. I've got a hot chocolate. Let's wait to board the plane and then we'll be off. We're now boarding our flight. Looking forward to getting up in the air. Me and Mrs. Leo have made it on the plane. We're just waiting to take off. Mrs. Leo's got the window seat. Unfortunately, I haven't, but maybe on the way back. Touchdown in London, uh, London Airport, Dublin Airport. Mrs. Leo's just gone to the toilet. I haven't because I don't need to go, which is funny because I'm always going like 20 times a minute. Anyway, we're here. Me and Mrs. Leo just got another coffee, well, blue green tea. Green tea, so always coffee. And I've got hazelnut latte, and this is what it's called. Barry? Did you say Barry? Oh, Barry, that's the brand. So we're just chilling in here, waiting for our bus. Then we'll see if we can check into the hotel early. And uh, yeah, which about? It's raining here, by the way. So we've got our transfer. We're now on the bus, a very cramped bus. <laughs> um, yeah, going to O'Connell Bridge, is it? And then yeah, awesome. That's all I have to say about that. The latte was nice, by the way. How's your green tea? We have arrived in the city centre. We're now walking down to the hotel. That thing there is what I call, what they call a spike or a needle or something. Not entirely sure. Mrs. Leo is right behind me, looking for directions to our hotel. I'm just going to keep going. Looking out at the river there. And if you fancy a Heineken, there you go, that is the building for you. Very nice. And look what I happened to uh, stumble across. How cool is that? So Mrs. Leo has found a statue she thought I might like. Now I don't know why she thought I might like that, but there you go. <laughs> So it is 11 o'clock, we have found our room. Hello, handsome. God, look at me. I need to start working out a bit more. That's better. Some mirrors there, TV. Oh, no. Fish and chip. We, yeah, we've done, we done early check-in, so we've got a disabled room. There's the, the bed where all the magic happens, or will happen. <laughs> oh, that's the connecting room, so I can't go in there. Uh, here is the... <laughs> So we come early, right? And what happened, um, because they had no rooms available, well they did, ours was three o'clock, weren't it? Yeah. So um, we, we thought, they said, well, we've got this room available, the same room. And so we thought we'd take it. It's, yeah, so it weren't bad. For how many nights you stay there? Two nights? Yeah. Two nights, 277 euro, plus like 10 pound of that was to come in early. So we've done all right, really. You know, the bed's a bit lower. So, when I'm drunk, I won't have so far to fall out. 
Lovely. Right, so we're um, in the room, uh, just having like a little break because we've been on the go since four this morning. Um, we're looking for somewhere to go for lunch. Um, we, Lou was looking at the, uh, Mrs. Leo was looking at the Hard Rock Cafe. Um, but Mrs. Leo's a, a pescatarian and gluten free, so it, it looks pretty beefy and steak. Steak there, which is fine by me because I do like steak. But yeah, we're gonna go uh, look for someone and have a wander around, I guess. But to be honest, I'm quite naked. <laughs> but we got to explore. We got to go and explore, make the most of it. The weather was raining when we got here, but it seems to be all right now. So fingers crossed. Left the hotel. Just in some sort of shopping arcade at the moment. Um, I just found another CEX, that's two CEXs. I'll do a video of them, or we'll put them on this one. But to be honest, not much cop. But we'll just have a look around here, all the shops and stuff, awesome. Walking down this uh, little road here. Mrs. Leo was saying it's a bit like Soho. Um, yeah, we're looking for the Hard Rock Cafe, because that's where Mrs. Leo, that's where you want to eat, right? Mm, yeah, we'll see. Well, if they've got gluten-free stuff, if not, that'll be a, another walk somewhere else. We're going straight down. So we just walked into the Temple Bar bit of London. London? Dublin. Um, as you can see, it's quite busy here. This is pretty much a touristy bit. We're gonna have a look around here, see what the crack is. Me and Mrs. Leo are in the Hard Rock Cafe. I've just ordered a cheeseburger. And have just ordered a watch. What have you ordered? Salmon mashed potatoes. Oh, we're getting this off before the copyright comes in. So the cheeseburger has arrived and Mrs. Leo's salmon. So we're going to eat this. I'm going to talk because it's very, very loud with music. So the meal was lovely. We just walked into a shop called Penny's, which is basically Primark. Primark. So uh, Mrs. Leo's having a look around. And I'm walking off that glorious burger that I had. This is the third CX I've come across. Let's go and have a look inside. So CX wasn't much cop, but we found this awesome comic book store with lots and lots of titles in it, lots of good selection. But I won't keep filming because of their playing music and you know YouTube copyright and everything. So just found out there's a downstairs to this uh, comic book place. It is literally immense, jam packed. If you like comics and you're in Dublin, come here. Back in the hotel room for an hour or two just to chill out. We've done, well, my pedometer says we've done 15,000 steps, which is what I usually do in a day. Um, but because I have no seat, I'm absolutely knackered, cream crackered. But um, the CEXs in Ireland, three of them, they're not much cop. They have very little in the way of retro gaming. A lot of Super Famicom controllers. I noticed. I don't know why that is, but um, yeah, loads of them, but nothing. I'll try and get some footage, but again, they're playing music pretty much like every shop that we went into today has been playing music. But yeah, it's good. I'm just going to chill out for a bit and then go out. Me, Mrs. Leo, have to pop down to a very, very busy bar. I'm sure we find the Guinness, Mr. Leo's on the red wine. Let's see where the evening takes us. There you go, so the Guinness is just brewing up. The wine is there, you can hear the music is playing. She's dancing. I just want to get drunk. I'll tell you, it's banging just come out the first pub had a few pints in there i tell you this place is heaving it's literally what what time is it seven o'clock at night seven o'clock at night honestly it's like being at perry st edmunds at three in the morning it is literally that mental it's awesome time but let's go get some more booze in the second bar point of ovaris and some wine yeah boy yep 
come out of that pub at about two or three points and their music was good. Mrs. Leo's fell in love with my So it's quarter to ten, we ended up in some really random whiskey place where they do like whiskey tasting and stuff, I'm really quite drunk. Um, I'm not filming out there because I'm filming in the toilet because, I'll tell you for why, there's loads of music playing as you can probably hear, but there's like whiskey tasting, we're paying like 40 quid and we're going to drink loads of whiskey, I don't know. But this is me drunk, so Leo is drunk. Morning my friends. Yes, it's me. Let me flip this round. It's me, Leo. Uh, it's my birthday, so I'm 21 today. Awesome. Um, just hopped out of the shower, feeling fairly fresh actually. Um, slept all right, woke up sort of midway through the night, there, but managed to fall back asleep. Um, poor Mrs. Leo's got a bit of a tummy ache. Um, haven't a clue what we're going to do today. I do want to go and get some breakfast, so um, that is on the agenda. Find somewhere to eat, whether it be here in the Premier Inn or somewhere else on a nice fry up, and then sit, see where the day takes us. Now, Mrs. Leo wants to go to a whiskey distillery today, but I don't. I don't know if she's feeling up to it. But um, last night was awesome. Last night was brilliant. I recommend Dublin. On a night out it is well it is phenomenal like everyone was having a good time everyone was friendly the beer is quite expensive um i was paying like a, over a 10, 10 euro a pint of guinness or lager but you're only here once so you got to do it anyway let's see where the day takes us we've come down for some breakfast i've gone for this hash browns scrambled eggs mushrooms Sausages, bacon, beans, orange juice, Mrs. Leo, nothing. Now her breakfast on the way, she's vegetarian and gluten free and all that kind of stuff. Mrs. Leo's vegetarian breakfast has arrived. It's got a couple of green teas there. It's quite not yummy to be fair. I might go up again. I did indeed go back up. I got myself a muffin and a pan of chocolate. Nice. This is Leo's enjoying her breakfast, as you can see. We are back in the hotel room. I have to say, breakfast was lovely. I will be getting um, another one tomorrow, most likely. Just having a cup of tea, and then we're gonna go and explore Dublin. Um, Mrs. Leo's book day, what is it? A mythology She's and folklore. mythology and folklore tour for this evening, which is from five till seven. So it's wandering around talking about I don't know, things like yep. leprechauns and banshees and mm. stuff like that. Mrs. Leo's into all that, so that'd be interesting and a chance to get some steps in. I'm going to drink this cup of tea. Mrs. Leo's going to have a shower and then um, we are heading off. Awesome. So we are out walking. We're going to the castle. Apparently there's a castle here. So we're going to go have a look at that. And... Um, yeah and um yeah i always say that and um yeah yeah so we're going to the castle and then take it from there we've done eighteen thousand odd steps yesterday i genuinely do about twelve thousand in a day so yeah we was quite tired wasn't we last night yeah. how you feeling mrs leo oh she's feeling better good so we appear to be in the grounds of dublin castle that is one of the Norman Towers over there. One of the castle gates. And we're gonna we're gonna see if we can get in there and have a look round. Um I think it's like six euros, so yeah. There she is. So we're in the castle walls and you see the tour group down there. Tour group there, tour group there. It's really nice though. Some trees. Yeah. So me and Mrs. Leo, we are in the walls of the castle right now. 
really gorgeous. I think this is the castle. This is the castle, isn't it? This is Leo. Yeah, it's obviously oh. the new buildings. And I didn't mention it's my birthday, so Mrs. Leo has to do everything I say. So there. But yeah, it's lovely. It's it's really nice. <laughs> So we're actually inside Dublin Castle right now. It's magnificent. Give me out. Still in the castle. Just have a look around. Some really exquisite Queensland uh, stuff here. But yeah, I think that's it. This room is absolutely immense and it has a really good view of the courtyard. I'm not really doing a lot of speaking in here because it's quite quiet, it's like being in a library or something, so I feel quite self-conscious. So this is the throne room and it's literally epic. So this is totally amazing. Wow. The art in here is phenomenal. The, yeah, the portraits are really good. This room is it's epic, absolutely epic. Pardon? Oh yeah, we've got the ceiling. The ceiling is immense. Wow. So that indeed was Dublin Castle. Absolutely beautiful in there. Um, the paintings are exquisite. The, the detail on the plastering, on the like ceilings and stuff was out of this world. Totally, yeah, totally beautiful building. I recommend if you come into Dublin, Go and have a look in the castle. It's how much we pay? Eight euros? Eight euros, eight, eight, eight euros eight for a self guided tour. They give you a leaflet, all the information's around. And if you want to like, learn about it, you just look it up on your phone. <laughs> what, what, what did you think? Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, I no? enjoyed it. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice bit of history. It's made me want to learn a little bit more about um, the Irish heritage. My, yeah, my Irish heritage, of course, but um, if you didn't know, I'm half Irish. Uh, but the British occupancy over Ireland, so yeah, go check it out. So we're now going to a cafe, but we found a cathedral and a very nice like little park here. So we'll probably sit around in here for a bit. Hopefully, we'll be able to get into the cathedral, have a look. But we're going to get a cup of tea or a coffee or something. And then yeah, did I mention it's my birthday? So now we are walking towards the old. Guinness storehouse, which is where Guinness is brewed and shipped all over the world. Over there, you can see some horses and carts. They probably do tours or something on them. But we're gonna go have a look anyway. It looks proper old around here, like from the 1700s. There we go, Guinness. I'll right, take Mrs. Leo's photo, one second. So word on the street, if you fancy a pint, this is the place to come. I don't think I'll be drinking just yet. What about you, Mrs. Uh, yeah, we're going to have about 10 pints of Guinness. Just can't drink it, gluten free. But I think you should anyway. Well, it has a proper old feel to this place, like Victorian or 1700s. Amazing, though. So that was the Guinness factory or the outside of it. We didn't go in. Because you've seen the lock for a reason time, haven't you? And I've been round one. And I'm not particularly interested in how it gets made. 
I like drinking it, but uh, it's different, isn't it? So we've just chilled out in the um, hotel for a little bit and now we're about to do the tour, what is it? Mythology. Mythology tour. It's actually raining in Dublin. That's been a glorious day. But I think the tour's going to take two hours. We'll wander around and the tour guide will be uh, Yeah, it's, there's music everywhere in this city. But yeah, I might film on this, I might film on this tour, I might not. So this is us on the tour right now. It's actually quite interesting. Um, yeah, it's good. That's it. That is the tour done. Really awesome. What do you think, Lou? I thought it was really, really good. Oh, Sorry, Mrs. Leo. <laughs> I, um, yeah, learned so much about Irish technology as well. Yeah, and I know there's, there's some history in there as well, which is really good. Um, yeah, mythology is really interesting. What it's inspired me to do is learn about our history, English history. You know, I'm ha yeah, I'm half Irish, so yeah, you know. So the, I've learned this. I've got learn. I've got learned both halves basically. But um, yeah, I definitely, especially my hometown, really want to learn more about that. But yeah, it was really fascinating very much enjoyed every second of it anyway we're going to find a restaurant and get something because we are absolutely Hank Marvin she was amazing she was amazing me and Mrs Leo have come out for a bite to eat and we've ordered quite a bit egg fried rice compound chicken normal rice broccoli yeah it's my birthday meal as you can see we are back in the Premier Inn because the purple lights the meal was fantastic, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, um, they brought out my pork, uh, was it pork dumplings? I had some sort of dumplings um, a little later, but the staff were really friendly, really attentive. Um, Mrs. Leo actually treated me to the um, uh, the meal because it's my birthday. Have I said it's my birthday? It's my birthday. Um, yeah, it's been a good day. It's been a good day. We... Um, we, 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 I can't even remember what we done. We, we done. we went to the castle. We went, we sat in the park and we had a coffee and cake. Next to the cathedral. Next to the cathedral. We had a look at the Guinness factory. We went on that really good tour, had a meal. We've really made the most of today. And yeah, tomorrow we fly back, but we've got most of the day here. So our plane takes off about five to eight. So I'll try and get some CEX in and then make a video on the Irish CEXs. If I have, you'll watch it soon. If I haven't, oh well. <laughs> George Street in Dublin is one of three. Let's have a quick look round and see what they've got to offer in Dublin. So as we come into the window, see Shola, Tudia, PlayStation 5. No retro stuff really. Eighty five euros for the next one, three sixty. Here's the more retro stuff down there, PS3, there, 85. PS1 games. DS. N64 there, 25 euros. Snares 120. And that, that is the whites as well, they're nice, but they're harder to come by. I've only ever seen one of them in white, so they're really nice.
charger of the coin. So I might have to deal with right, yeah. yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So that was a quick look in CEX in George Street in Dublin. We might go and find some more, but you can see there's, it's not really compared to the UK. There's nothing really happening in there. So that was a quick look around CEX, um, one of the three. Um, we're in the park now. And it's quite similar. If you've seen my vlogs before, you've seen me in the Abbey Gardens in Bury, And it's the bit where we sat now is quite similar to that, isn't it? So we've checked out the hotel. Um, we're just having a quick wander around Dublin, then we're going to get a bus to the airport and then we're flying back to the UK. Um, I'm very tired, I'm sure Mrs. Leo is as well. How have you enjoyed your time in, in Dublin? I have. You say have you? How, how have you enjoyed it? How have I? Yeah. Um... Don't look at me, I ain't going to tell you what to say. <laughs> how have you enjoyed it? Ca camera, camera shy. Did you have a good time? What were the highlights? <laughs> like my brain Camera shy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been, it's been good. Said. It's been, it's been good. So much. You've been full on. It's, it's been really full on. Been a full on couple of days, um, to be honest. Um, yeah. So we're going to call it there. I definitely come back because there's other things. There's a wasp there, and I'm literally petrified of wasps. <laughs> That is literally. <laughs> so we're, we're going to call it a day there. If you've liked this video, please share it with your friends. Hit the subscribe thing, which is probably about there or over there. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little visit to Dublin. And, Dublin and, Dublin and more, vi Dublin. more videos coming up soon, featuring the ever so camera shy Mrs. Leo. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we'll do, we'll do some more, some more gaming. But thank you so much. You anyway, I've been Leo. It's been Leo's world. One left thing for me to do, and that is, of course.